Hey there everyone, my name is Rabbit. Designing Women is also a phenomenal show in my opinion and welcome to episode 57 of our 100% item guide and walkthrough for Legend of La Gaia. In our previous episode we finally made it to the entertainment tower known as Sol and somewhat unfortunately the lower levels are in fact possessed by mist so there wasn't too much excitement waiting for us there however the upper floors do seem to be outside of the mist's reach so it is popping up here there's a jazz club there's an arcade which we're in right now and it seems like everyone's having a relatively good time now interestingly enough we had two somewhat odd interactions with people so we ended up running into a man named Gaza on the mist laden floors and he didn't really talk too much about himself or even introduce himself outside of his name but he had somewhat of an odd and potentially touching interaction with Noah so maybe we'll find out more about that later and to wrap up our interesting interactions we ended up spotting Kara as well as what we're assuming to be her lover and partner named Grantes and we were nosy and intervened in their little domestic dispute so once we were done being nosy and kind of putting our noses where they don't belong we came up here to the muscle dome or the arcade and we are ready to advance the story well somewhat there are a couple of things that we can and should do here so first order of business the reason why we want to be here and spend a bit of time is because we want to do some gambling we want to play the slots for a little bit so that we can get enough coins for a few things one of the first things we want to get is this gold card here for 50 coins. We also want to get eight of these Soru bread, and I know that sounds like a weird number. Actually, the more that you get, the better, but eight is what you need. And I'll explain this more as we go through the events of the story, but just trust me for now. We want eight of these. And if you're really feeling patient and or lucky, if you can manage to amass 100,000 coins, a hidden Rosaru earth egg will appear here and you cannot find this earth egg anywhere else. So it is extremely rare and this is the place to get it. So I would recommend waiting it out, getting as many coins as possible either now or later. But eventually if you want to have it, you have to come here and do it. So I say go ahead and knock it out while you're here doing the grinding for the rest of the stuff. So that's one of the things that we want to do. We want to get all of these items that I just shared with you. But we also want to spend some time going through a mock fighter called Baka Fighter. And I'll get into that with you guys here in just a second. But the third thing that you could do here, there is the opportunity to participate in a tournament. We sort of got a quick glimpse of it when we initially entered the Muscle Dome here. Uh, and the referee was counting down and all of that fun stuff. But I've had multiple people tell me if you enter the tournament this early in the game or at this point in the game, it glitches. So I don't know if that's true or not, but you know what? It's not even worth it because we're going to have our hands tied with everything else we want to undertake here anyway. So with all of that being said, we're going to hold off on the slots and focusing on getting the eight Sora bread, the gold card, and that rare Rosaru Earth Egg. And we're just going to come over here and do Baka Fighter. So that is what this entire episode is going to be dedicated to. I'm not entirely certain how long this is going to end up taking us, but hopefully we should be able to get through it without it consuming too big a chunk of space and time here. So anyway, when we get here to the player select menu, you can kind of pick your poison here of the recolored <laughs> or ballot swap protagonist. So you can be bootleg Gala, bootleg Vaughn, or bootleg Noah. I'm just going to go with Noah because... She is Bay. So for stage one, it's pretty easy. I would just recommend spamming the box button here. And ta-da, he's down for the count. And you have two rounds for every single stage. And they can get a little tricky as you progress. So there are a few of them that I'm sure I will lose one of the actual rounds just because it can get sloppy, especially with me trying to talk. And oh, I guess to point out, you can technically take your payouts and get some coins from doing this, but I think the slots are a faster way of getting the money that you need, or money, I should say, getting the coins that you need for the so sorry bread coins. Oh my God, you guys know what I'm saying. I cannot talk today. Whatever, let's move on to stage two. No double takes in here, friends, no double takes. 
you guys get a drugged up rabbit on all kinds of medications. And whatever comes out is what you get. But actually, you know, as an aside, I shouldn't complain. I actually don't feel too bad this morning, minus being congested. But anyway, the strategy you guys saw for that one, I just spammed X repeatedly. Bing, bang, boom. He's done. So we are ready to move on to stage three. And this one, I just spam O. And it's pretty straightforward. These first ones are really simple. And I wouldn't be surprised if you could spam almost anything and kill them. But this is just what I tend to do. And he's gone. Now for our upcoming stage four, we're going to alternate between the box and the X buttons. Next stage. So get your fingers ready. Because the alternating ones are a little annoying, honestly. Okay, if we can get in our groove here. Okay. Well, this was sloppy, but we did it. If I can get into a good groove, you'll see it looks a bit more smoothly, or it runs more smoothly than what you saw. Like that. But if you kind of get the pattern off wrong and they're doing their thing. So I guess for a better explanation before we even move on to stage five, depending on, oh, never mind. So occasionally for round five, we get a surprise visit from Zane. Okay, stop. Stop. One, two, three. Oh my God. You'll get an occasionally a surprise visit from Zane for stage five. And the way to deal with him is three O's and three X's. That didn't look very nice just because I'm bad. But this second time you guys saw what I'm trying to say. <laughs> it's so hard to talk when all this stuff is going on. But I'll take a quick minute and give you the full details of what I was getting ready to explain. So if you can actually... Well, explanation number one and then explanation number two will revolve around Zane and stage five. So if you can actually start your sequences off properly, then everything will sort of unfold more naturally. And you guys have already seen this twice where one of the rounds, I kind of half-ass it because I started it off wrong, but I still squeeze out a victory. But then in the other one, because I started the sequence properly, I end up killing them fairly quickly with very little to no damage. So this Baka fighter is somewhat structured like rock, paper, scissors, where the square or box button is greater than the X, the O or circle button is greater than the box, and the X is greater than the O. So if you want to look at it that way and sort of formulate your own strategies with that in mind, that's the way to do it. But I just always try to remember it in terms of sequences and I don't even pay attention to what the enemy is doing, which is both good and bad. It keeps me from psyching myself out and trying to over predict some things, but occasionally it does result in me getting my ass kicked. So we'll see if I'm victorious. Now the other thing I was starting to say was for some reason the game randomly will troll you and Zane may or may not appear for stage five. So if you're following along with me and he didn't show up and you just moved on to the next stage, well, I'll show you what you need to do with that here in our upcoming fight. But sometimes you get Zane and that's the best way to deal with him. Three O's, three X's. Let's move on to stage six, which is just O's and X's. That's all you gotta worry about. We'll see if I can, oh yeah. There you go, perfect example. If you started off right, you can take them down. But it doesn't always work out. Stop. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. Now, stage seven is where it gets a little messy. We're going to go with three squares, three X's, three O's. Three squares, three X's, three O's. Just remember it and pray that you get it off right. I'm gonna try. We'll see. Oh God, let's see. Stop. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, die. Well, it wasn't the cleanest victory, but we still got him. Let's see if we can get it this time. Die, would you? One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. And he's gone. Now for stage eight, it's a little bit messier. We're going for one X, one O, three boxes. So just remember that. One X, one O, three boxes. Let's do it. 
One. Okay. Stop. Okay. Two, three. Uh-oh. We kind of fucked up the sequence there. Or I shouldn't say we. I fucked up my sequence there. Let's try this again. Let's see when we can get the punch in. And then we should... Two, three, four. No! Oh, no! That was my bad, fam. I definitely fucked that up. But that's okay. That's what pauses are for. And I will bring us back, and we will be victorious. Don't you worry. We can do this. But sadly, you get nothing when you fuck it up. So, <sighs> slow tear dripping down my face. Be right back at stage eight, and we will fuck this guy up. It's amazing how fast you can get back Next here when you're not talking. But okay, let's try this bullshit again. And I'm going to open with the boxes this time and see if we can... One, two, three, four, one, two... Fuck you. Okay, there we go. It's still XO four boxes, but you're better off probably just starting off with... Stop being a piece of dookie. There we go. And he's down. So they can be a little bit obnoxious, but you know what? This honestly looks harder than it is. If you're trying to talk and do it, it's significantly more difficult than just paying attention. Like, it took me significantly less time to grind back up. I shouldn't even say grind, but to get us back to stage eight without you guys. So stage nine is easy. It's two O's and an X. So I don't know why they had the previous stage be such a piece of shit comparatively. But if you can get past that one, you pretty much have the rest of this in the bag. So the rest should be smooth sailing. Okay. Fuck you. Now, like I was starting to say, the rest of this should be smooth sailing. So stage 10, you're just going through the motions with box XO. Next stage. That is it. So just make sure you get the right hit off. Round one. So let's see. Nope. Box XO. Box XO. Box. Fuck you. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Round two. And we'll just go through it again. As soon as he... Stop. Okay. Are you really going to do this? Let me get my sequence right. There we go. Stop. No cutting in line. I am the victor, not you. All right, that wraps up 10. Stage 11 is also pretty easy. Just two boxes, an O and an X. So let's do it. Okay, here we go. Come on now. There. Stop. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. Don't mind me. I'm no longer going to be talking because you saw what it did to me last time. Really, bro? Okay. Are you really going to do this? Whew. Barely, but we got it. No interrupting me, my boy. All right, we are looking good, friends, but not quite good enough. So let's head on to 12, which is an OOX box. <laughs> I like that. Really? Stop it. And we'll just repeat it. Let's see if we can start out with it. No. Are you going to let me? There we go. Fabuloso. Now, just to repeat it, if you feel like the sequences are kind of hard to get into since they can interrupt you, you should keep in mind, again, that the order, I guess, of greater than is 
box is greater than x, o is greater than box, and x is greater than o. So that's another viable way to structure your fights. But for 13, this is xx, box, box, xx, o, o. Yes, it is annoying. So let's see if we can get it. If he'll let us, Ooh, which is not looking too good for us. Okay, we're able to get it in. Doing it my way is risky, honestly, but it can work. It can work, but you never know if it's the necessarily the right sequence that you're leading into. Especially if, like me, you're not actively looking at their sections because you're just going through the sequence you know can work. But you gotta kind of pray that it falls into the right spot. You're very brave to come here. It's the final round. And this one is just box box X O O X. Let's see. Stop. Uh oh. We might. Ooh, we barely got it. Let's see if we can emulate that though. So box box X O O O X. Come on, boy. Let me in. All right, we got it. So minus our little hiccup with stage eight, I'd say this wasn't too terrible. What do you think? It is somewhat time consuming. Congratulations. <laughs> I love that. But yeah, it is a little bit time consuming for the amount of coins that you get, which is why I think the slots are better. And there is actually a save outside of the muscle dome, I'll show you really fast in case you're worried that you're going to lose all of your coins. If you just exit here and run down literally one little set of stairs, you can save right here before you go and you fuck around with the slots. But I'm actually going to do that. I won't part ways with you before showing you how the slots look, especially for those of you who don't care and you're not actively trying to get all the coins yourselves but anyway let's quickly talk to this kid shucks that songy bastard came out just when i was doing good yeah the final round i know it can be a kicker kid tee -hee, one bonus round after another i just can't lose and you know what i should have shown you if you want information on these things yeah welcome to the city that never sleeps muscle paradise this is the counter to purchase tokens so you can learn about how the arcade works and the types of games available but we're not going to fuck with that. I'm tired of this game, but I don't have anything else to do. I imagine being stuck in this tower would get old after a while, but just very quickly to show you, here's what the slots look like, and it shows you basically what you can earn. So if you bring up the triangle button, you can display a menu that'll teach you how to play. And here's all the information available to you. So Wild Card is a slot machine game. To spin the wheels, insert three coins by pressing box, O, or X buttons. Press the box, O, and X buttons to stop them. When three of the same symbols line up along one of the five horizontal and diagonal lines, you win. The number of coins you win depends on the symbol. When the punch or kick symbols line up, the bonus game starts. The symbols change into numbers from 1 to 10, and you win the number of coins equal to the sum of the numbers multiplied on the center line. Yes, this is a lot of information, but you can see here what your earnings will be. So it could be a good route to take, or again, if you'd rather do the muscle dome, or not the muscle dome, if you'd rather do Baka Fighter because you feel like that'll be easier for you in the long run, then by all means, do whatever you need to do to afford all of the story bread, the gold card, and then I think what is equally important is getting the 100,000 coins to afford the raw Saru Earth Egg. So it's up to you what you want to do, but with that, I'll just, you know what, whatever, let's just do one before we head out, and I get nothing. So we're just going to go ahead and say fuck this and quit and I will call this a video so when we come back together in our next episode I should have enough coins I think what I will do is sit here and try to grind up enough for us to afford everything here at the prize counter because I really want to go ahead and walk out with this earth egg so anyway thank you very much for watching everyone as always i am your host rabbit this is my 100 item guide and walkthrough for legend of Lagaya, and i will see you in our next episode